Alright, welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is number 894, the category Lightning Round number 16. If you have not played Lightning Round number 1 through 15, let me catch up real quick. This is a 21 question quick trivia quiz. Question 21 is at the very end of the video. All of these questions are from random categories. The questions come quick, the answers come quicker. Good luck. Question number one. What is the name of the only large spiral galaxy visible from Earth with the naked eye? That is the Andromeda Galaxy. Question number two. Regarded as one of the most influential authors of all time, what ancient poet wrote the epics, the Iliad, and the Odyssey? The answer is Homer. Question number three. What Eugene O'Neill play features Harry Hope's saloon and the character of Hickey. The name of that play was The Iceman Cometh. Question number four. What was the name of the 20th century composer who wrote the ambitious opera War and Peace as well as Peter and the Wolf. The answer is Prokoviev, Sergei Prokoviev. Question number five. What term is often used to describe the informal pejorative language used by lawyers and members of the legal profession? They call that legalese. Question number six. What is the title of the 1837 Charles Dickens classic that features The Artful Dodger and Fagin? The answer is Oliver Twist. Question number seven. Harney Peak, The Corn Palace, Jewel Cave, Deadwood, and the Crazy Horse Mountain Carving are all attractions of what U.S. state? Those are all located in South Dakota. Question number eight. Robert Redford and Dustin Hoffman portrayed Washington Post reporters Woodward and Bernstein in what 1976 movie classic? That movie was called All the President's Men. Question number nine. What is the name of the Impressionist artist who died in 1926, whose favorite subjects included haystacks and water lilies? His name is Claude Monet. Question number 10. The Mariana Trench is the deepest area in what ocean? The answer is the Pacific Ocean. Question number 11. 
Question number 11. In what city does the Parliament meet in Northern Ireland? They meet in Belfast. Question number 12. What is the name of the Greek thinker who was a student of Plato and a teacher of Alexander the Great? The answer is Aristotle. Question 13. What was the name of the television detective series which debuted in the 1970s starring John Forsyth's voice as the head of the Townsend Agency? The answer is Charlie's Angels. Question 14. What French philosopher said, cognito ergo sum, which translates to, I think, therefore I am. That was Rene Descartes. Question number 15. Of chromium, copper, gold, tin, tungsten, and silver, which one has the highest melting point? The answer is tungsten. Question number 16. Adolf Hitler was born on April 20th, 1889 in a small town just across the river from Germany in what country? He was born in Austria. Question 17. Also helping to prevent night blindness and dry eyes, what vitamin promotes healthy eyes and skin? The answer, vitamin A. Question 18. Built in 1914, what Major League Baseball stadium has been the home field for the Chicago Cubs for more than a century? The answer is Wrigley Field. Question 19. Who was the first man to walk on the moon. The first man to walk on the moon, Neil Armstrong. And question 20. What unusual reproductive characteristic for mammals do the duckbill platypus and the spiny anteater share? The answer is that they lay eggs, which is unusual for mammals. And that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trivia. Check back tomorrow. We're starting another full week of trivia. Thank you for being patient with me this week. I know we had two Friday night pub quizzes and two lightning round trivias that's because it's been a busy weekend hopefully i get back on track this week here's question 21 
What man single-handedly revolutionized American agriculture by developing and marketing the world's first self-polishing cast steel plow? His name is John Deere. All right, now that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Like I said, check back tomorrow. Uh, another new quiz. I'm not even sure what tomorrow's quiz is yet, but Brainy Tuesday, the day after that. Got a lot of fun ones coming up on the list. I've had great suggestions in the email and on the comment section of these videos. I appreciate that. I've even had some people send in some trivia quizzes. Once I'm able to get them arranged and organized, I'll be posting those. I appreciate any type of of suggestion whether it's a category suggestion or a couple of good questions or an entire quiz which seems to be the popular thing lately I really appreciate it I just got to make sure that they fit into the road trivia format you know with the timing of the questions and stuff that way I can that way it flows well you know how it is anyways I appreciate it I appreciate everybody who watches these videos thank you very much see you later